there's been great concern about whether uh, my child should be on probiotics. And if I am on uh, a dietary restriction that's milk-free, or I'm not offering yogurt or other sources that might be providing probiotics, should I be supplementing probiotics in my child's diet? Or is there another health value of adding a probiotic to my child's diet? Five, eight. Point one. You're growing. <laughs> You're over five, eight now. <laughs> All right. That's cool. The truth is we're not so sure. And I think the majority of people right now may not need a probiotic if they've got a good nourishing source uh, in their diet. We feed our own bacterial flora in the gut very nicely with the foods that we take in. And we now know that bacteria in our gut are fed very healthily by carbohydrate sources, and that's how they nurture Ow. themselves. So, tell, how, how's things going? Was your, was your belly bothering you last week? Yeah. Well, we can ask Dr. Boobie about it. Yeah, so yeah. I wasn't feeling well. We also know that things like fiber in the diet, which we felt like simply added bulk to the stool to make it easier for food to move through, it also provides a nutrient support for the right kind of healthy bacteria to provide a healthy environment. So the food sources that we've always, always considered naturally healthy probably are feeding our bacterial environment in, in a nice way as well. And he, like his breakfast haven't changed, and that's what usually changes over the next, like, well, the past week, say, in this coming week. And so far, is everything's staying the same, and he's eating the regular stuff. Yes. <laughs> Some of the foods that we take in have a natural source, source of probiotics. So foods that are fermented, like yogurts, or foods that may have vinegar as, a, as an underlying base, may nurture bacteria in a way that fosters a healthy bacterial flora. But we don't know in any given individual if it's a value to supplement beyond that and whether we need 10 billion colonies of a particular probiotic or 80 billion or 50 billion or whether we need a particular strain of lactobacillus or bifidophilus or, or some other type of probiotic, we're not quite so sure because each of us have established our own microenvironment. And the bacterial flora that I have is not the same as the bacterial flora that you have. So what bug I choose may be very different for me than for you. And what response my body may have is very different for me than for you. So any number of individuals might be placed on a particular probiotic. They might have a very nice regulation of their bowel pattern, but that same probiotic used in a different individual might cause increased gas or constipation or some other negative side effect. And we're starting to learn that we need to personalize medicine and personalize supplementation in a way. And some of that at this point has to come through a little bit of trial and error until we figure out whether there's a value to be had.